what does it mean to you to sort of don the green and gold, so to speak, wear the coat of arms? It's a, sort of a big tear jerk and it sort of hits you right here because you're doing it for your country, for your family, for all your teammates and for everyone back home. What are you feeling right now? It's really exciting. Um, no doubt once we go through the doors and see all the flashing lights and just how massive the stadium is, you might get a little bit, a bit more emotional. <laughs> Look at the back though, I think it's too loose. Yeah, yeah, okay. Diva, always honest yes. this time. <laughs> always be honest to you. Honesty is the best policy. How exciting is it for you just to be surrounded by the whole Paralympic team? Oh, that's awesome, man. I'm just a newcomer to this sport and I'm with legends here. Uh, it's a privilege, uh, always just I'm um, just uh, lucky to be uh, part of Australian team, so always I'm um, just excited when I'm wearing just the Australian team. You know? It's like it's a really exciting day and it's a day that you get to actually be inspired about the moment and you get to kind of enjoy this moment before it gets pretty hardcore serious tomorrow and for the rest of the time. Sean, who's your vote for best dress? Uh, yeah, I definitely have to agree with uh, Brady McNess. He's, um, he just scrubs out really well, looking good, so big muscles, looking good. How many times do you look at him? <laughs> <laughs> In the goalball team, uh, I reckon we're all pretty, pretty sharp. Um, I reckon Mika says she doesn't look the greatest, but you know, I beg to differ. Probably everyone scrubbed up really well. Um, I think that, I mean, it always looks good with a, you know, a medal around an athlete's neck, but just to see everyone, you know, dressed, dressed to the nines as much as we can do, and it's yeah, fabulous. <laughs> Tonight, tomorrow, you're just another naked bum in the shower, mate, so it's, uh, that's exactly right.